Okay, so Jason scraped the top off. We didn't sand it because we were gonna see if it was all the way through, if we would need to replace this top piece altogether and it came off. So now it's flat and I actually bought some contact paper. So I'm gonna put that on it. So I probably don't need to sand anymore. This is a contact paper I got. I just grabbed it at Home Depot. It was under $10, but at the top I liked it because it looks almost like our countertops. Um, the way our granite is, it kind of matches. And this actually is not going to end up in Mila's room. So I'll show you what I'm doing with it, but um, so it was cute. So I'm gonna read the directions and then I'm gonna put this on the top right now. Okay, this is what it looks like with the top. Kind of pretty, actually. I'm gonna paint, there's for sure gonna be gray. Now seeing it on, I might do like the lighter gray on the drawer and then keep the rest white, possibly, or keep the drawer white and do the rest light gray. Another change of plans. I had it inside and I wasn't gonna put it in Mila's room because of the size of the furniture that she has a lot of already in there like with the dollhouse, the vanity and all of that. Um, I just thought it was gonna be too bulky, but I brought it inside to start painting and she started putting toys in it and now she loves it. So in her room, it's gonna go. I'm gonna move some stuff around and try to figure it out. But now it's done. So I actually don't need to paint it because I will keep it white in her room. This just needs to be tightened. I'll give it another wipe down from being windy outside so this part right here, I'm actually going to take this off since it's going to be in her room, which I probably would have taken it off anyways. I didn't think about it. So I'm going to pull this off, then I'll tighten it back up. These screws will come right out. Didn't really think this one through, but I wonder if I could put something like a bigger sticker over it to cover the hole or a flower. Stick it in there and like hot glue it around and there should be like a little flower part to it. Um, I need to think for a minute. I also just remembered I have these gold stickers left over from the candy box. I don't have any more little A's that I could do a big A. So I'm going to do her name right there. And then I'll Mod Podge over it so it sticks. I actually found these cactus stickers that I forgot I had. And Mila's room has cactus all over. So I'm going to try to plop one of these over. I should have scooted those over. Okay, there it is with everything. I space them out a little bit better. I'm going to put those stickers over that and then I'm going to Mod Podge it. Okay, these stickers I didn't realize are like transparent almost, so you can still see the holes, but from far away you can't. It is what it is, I'm working with what I got. So I'm gonna Mod Podge over all of that and then I'm just gonna put it in a room. It actually worked out pretty cute in here. Um, with their little plants, I'll, she'll end up moving stuff around. She always does her own decorating, but I'm gonna toss her dolls in there and I'm not gonna put anything in the drawer. Let her figure it out but she's gonna be excited, I know she is. And there we have it. I tossed her babies in there. I actually tossed in like her doll clothes because all of her clothes, dolls are naked all the time because <laughs> she changes her clothes. So I put that in there. We'll see. It was free and it ended up being easier than my original plans. You cannot even tell on her name. Oh, I guess up close, but it's cute. Free.